Uh, this is a really cool product. So what do we got here? This is our uh, torque production box. It's a 1.9 uh, ratio, really good ratio for a lot of classic cars, hot rods that have, are converting to electric. So we make different adapters to bolt to all the popular electric motors, okay. sometimes different input shafts, different couplers to couple up, and then it's just a standard yoke to the drive shaft. So it's really designed for two-wheel drive vehicles, the front motor, drive shaft. This replaces the transmission. Completely. The EV conversion. And it's only one speed. There is no shift. It's all you need uh, with an electric. Properly sized motor, one speed. And uh, the very first vehicle we did this with this, it was, uh, it was a high-performance car. And I uh, had a zero to 60 of 3.9 seconds and That's a top cooking. speed of 135. Oh man. So just one speed, no shift, all the way to 135, very quick. And uh, so we've been uh, actually marketing this product now for about 10 years. Okay. We uh, debuted the product in 2013 here at SEMA. Okay. And uh, came back the second year with this in our, in our Mazda Miata, uh, which was in the Battle of the Builders. Uh, There's a little sneak peek. We're gonna we're gonna cover this in a moment, uh, but uh, that's what it looks like. <laughs> sure. I'm really excited to share with you our dual motor. This is a dual motor uh, torque box, and we put a uh, an acrylic cover on this side so you can actually see the gears. And you see a motor on one side. There would normally be a motor here as well, but we left that open so people could see it. So okay, and that's the motor, dual motor. Right. But if you look, this is where the motor torque would come in. And you have a, a ratio here, reduction, okay. and another ratio between here and the big gear, which is the output. So it's power in, power out. And what you see here is duplicated on the other side of the box, but they're fully independent. So with the motors and software, you can power the motors differently. So you're coming in and you're coming out. And in the turns, you know, you can power one differently than you power the other. So you can go through turns faster with more power. Interesting. Okay. So there's a lot so of that's, tuning that's and configuration that you can right. do with a setup like this. And everybody likes to drop names. I'm, I'm, I'm there too. Kindig has this uh, from Bitch and Rides, has this in a C1, one of the C1 Corvettes. Oh, cool. Loves the product. We're also in a Vol 50 race car and uh, really excited about offering this now to the public. Yeah. Amazing. What sort of software is going, would be used to like control these two yeah, sides? Any any software that's capable of a, a dual motor. Okay. So AEM, for example, uh, the uh, VCU 300 that they sell is a dual motor capable controller. Okay. And so that's that's all you need. You basically don't send a uh, signal to one motor, and uh, you can shut it off, or put it in regen, or you could have one in power and one in regen spin the vehicle around if on a you dime. want. Oh, awesome. <laughs> so this is really cool. Got another product I'd like to show you that is, um, excuse me. Externally, this looks just like the first box we showed you, the 1.9 ratio. Yeah. We had a lot of people, especially marine customers, that were asking for more torque multiplication. Okay. So they wanted a three to one, so we finally came out with our three to one. We're introducing it here at the show. And uh, it's a planetary uh, based like the 190, fits in the same real estate, the same physical footprint. Oh. You could literally take one of our 190 boxes out and put our three to one in. It doesn't change the mounting at all, but it's a, a full three to one reduction. Feel the, spin the shaft on that one, feel the backlash or lack thereof. What backlash? Yeah. That's really so smooth So it's all too. in the precision of the gears, the tolerancing, and and actually the condition of the gears. These are finished ground to the final dimension, not just hobbed, okay. like a lot of transmission. But finished ground, give them a really nice finish, very precise. Then we're running on ceramic ball bearings on either side. Feel that bearing. Wow. Super smooth, that's rated Silky. at 20,000 RPM, okay. motor RPM. So this will handle just about any motor on the market. That's the sun gear that this shaft is splining into inside that unit. And then the entire planetary sits inside the body here and runs around inside that ring gear. Okay. And this gives us a three to one. So when we say three to one reduction, we're taking the RPM 
and have the capability of, of dividing by three and taking the torque of that particular motor, whatever you have it on, and tripling the torque output. So whatever the electric motor is putting out, right. what's coming out right. on the other end is right. even more so. Right, so you take something like the typical Tesla, the earlier ones were like 16,000 RPM. The first Roadster, Tesla Roadster motor way back in 2008 was 13,000 RPM. Uh, then the Model S, 2012, uh, 16,000 RPM. And now the Model 3s and some of the motors are 18, 20,000 RPM. That's why the 20,000 RPM bearings. I see. We're using an EN36 gear material, okay. which is expensive, but it's what you need for strength, be able to handle the big power, uh -huh. the big torque, and get the longevity through the finishing, how you finish the gear. And uh, really excited about that product. Um, right. What do we have over here? Uh, this was actually one of our earlier units. It's a uh, also a planetary base, but it's spur gear, not helical. Okay. Spur's a little louder, but this is for off-road racing. Oh. Even for gas engines, you'll never hear the gearbox over those you know, monster gas motors that they're running. But it's a, uh, a 1.58 ratio. We call it a big tire compensator. Okay. Take a look at a trophy truck today. They're running 40 inch tall tires. Yeah. And then you've got your, your big tire guys on the street that are running even, we had a customer in the booth uh, yesterday, it was 46 inch tall tire. So when you get in the monster tire, you lose so much of your torque that you need something to compensate for that and bring the torque back up. Yeah. So even in a gas-powered vehicle with a transmission, like a Turbo 400, which is real popular yeah. in the off-road racing, you bolt this to the back of it, it replaces the tail housing, bolt this to the back of it, and and now you get the, um, the torque back. And prior to that, what they're doing is, just through ring and pinion, they're trying to get the, the torque back. And those guys are running like, 620 axle ratio, which means you've got five teeth on the pinion gear, and to, to get that to get that ratio to get the torque back up. The problem with that few of teeth on the pinion gear is the surface speed of the teeth themselves is so high. You know, the, those, those teeth are coming around and really being worked. Yeah. When uh, say a 410 axle ratio has like 10 teeth on the pinion, those teeth don't work half as hard. You don't have the surface speed. You don't create the heat. Okay. Uh, it's terrible uh, when in, in, a, in an off-road race, and some of those are long races, like a thousand mile. Yeah. When you get into these master rallies in other parts of the country where there's six, seven thousand mile races. You got to have endurance. Yes. Brute strength is great. Being able to handle power is great, but you've got to have the endurance to go the long haul, and you're not going to get it with five teeth on your pinion gear. So with, with, by putting this on the back of your transmission, instead of running a uh, you know, 514 or 588 or, you know, or bigger gear, you can go back to like a 373 or a 410 multiplied by this 1.58 and you're equivalent to a 620. I see. With, and, but you've got double the amount of teeth on the pinion. And better manners, more longevity. So you're gonna get the longevity. longevity. Cool. Right. So, uh, thank you so much for taking me through this. Sure. How do people find you if they have more questions? Well, we're, uh, we'd love to have them come visit. Yeah? We're, we're just uh, north of Phoenix, Arizona, at uh, Torque Trends Incorporated. But we love visitors, like people to come uh, tour the shop, see us, and be able to put face with a name, that type of thing. Hope to see you at our shop. But yeah, we'd love to uh, have them visit if they can, or uh, you know, give us a call or go on our website and take a look, order our catalog, and uh, you know, keep things going. All right, that sounds good. Well, thank you so much, I appreciate it. You bet, thank you.